Morning guys, this is Gary from g, &G Electronics. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hook up a uh, rate of rise heat detector onto your Concord 4 or Concord Express. A, uh, a subscriber wanted to know how to hook up a heat detector and I'm going to show you how to do that. This one here is a 5600 series and it's actually a 5601P. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, it's a, a 5601P which is a single circuit 135 degree Fahrenheit fixed rate of rise. Okay, so let's just get the box out of the way. I'm gonna take it out of the base so you can see it a little bit better. And it's just a two wire circuit. I'm not gonna get into how these work, why these work, and so on and so forth. And I'm not gonna get into all the laws that um, you know you have to pay attention to on the placement and usage and all that. I'm just gonna show you how to wire one of these up. To a Concord 4 or a Concord Express. All right. So again, it's just a two-wire circuit. All right. So right now, um, I've, these are the two wires coming from my control panel, which are um, wired up to Zone 8. All right. Let me just uh, see if I can bring this up here. All right. This is the wire right here, and it goes up to Zone 8, which is terminals 22 and 24. All right, and then right here I got a little LED strip that I have wired into the siren circuit so that when we trip this, this will blink the temporal, you know, siren that's coming off the panel for fire. All right, so let's bring this back down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire it up. Now, I got a resistor here. This is the resistor that belongs up on. The, oh, I broke it. This is the resistor that belongs up on zone 8. And what you have to do down here on this rate of rise is you got to put the resistor across the circuit. All right. Now, fire alarm systems are normally open where most burglar alarm systems are normally closed. All right. I'm not going to get into that either. I'm just going to show you how to wire this. So right now I've got that resistor going across the two connections. So the resistor touches here and the resistor touches here. Now I'm going to take my wire that comes from zone 8 and I'm going to put that on one side. And come on, get in there. <laughs> this is kind of... Ah, get that resistor. Hang on, i got to put, put the resistor back in and I'm going to put one in at a time. Ah, that's in there. Come on, you stupid thing. I just got to make like a little horseshoe type thing and get it in there. All right. So I'm going to tighten down this side. All right. So now, the resistor is across. I'm going to put one side of the circuit from my alarm panel into one side. Then I'm going to put the other side of the wire. I actually have to loosen this up. And put that in the other side. So now, coming from your panel, which is zone 8, that's what you use on a Concord 4 or a Concord Express for two wire circuits, is I've got the wire coming from terminal 22 and 24. There's no polarity. If you see red and black here, but don't, don't pay no attention to that. There's no polarity. You can put the red over here if you want to, and the black over there. doesn't matter. So, coming from 22 and 24... One side goes to this terminal, one side goes to the other, and then you've got the resistor going across the two. All right, so let's put this to the side for now. Now let's go into program. Let's go into program and program zone 8 as a fire. So we go 8, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0. System program, hit the pound, go up to sensors. Sensors, hit the pound. Learn sensors, hit the pound. Partition 1, hit the pound. Sensor group is a 2-6. Hit the pound. Now, you want to go up to zone 8, because that's what is used for fire alarm and heat detectors on a Concord 4 and a Concord Express. So now, we're at zone 8. Now I have to trip it. To trip one of these, all you do is short across the circuit. Hang on a second. I 
just lost my screen here here we go I'm back so now all we have to do is short across the circuit put one wire there uh, my hands are in the way but I just got a short piece of wire and I'm gonna short across this now listen to the panel hear that beep that means it programmed I take the short off now it's on the next zone you don't want that you just hit the star key Start all the way out until it says system program, and then exit program, and get out. All right, system is okay. So now, I'm going to pretend that I'm a friendly little fire. Friendly. <laughs> friendly little fire, right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to short across these two, pretending that the there's a fire under here, and this, you know, tripped. And now it's going to trip the panel. So it's going to short here, short there. Now if you look up here, you can see my LED is flashing. The keypad is flashing. And what is the keypad saying? Can you see that? Fire alarm. All right. So now to reset the fire alarm, after you go in, you go and find out what happened, you hit disarm, punch in your code, says alarm canceled and then it's going to come up the memory sensor 8 alarm memory hit the star sign once it will show the memory again and then you press and hold the star and that resets the system all right ah. get out of there i hit the co i hit some buttons by mistake um but anyways that's all there is to it so now i'll trip it again i'm just going to go across and there we go. We got we got our flashing light again. I put the LEDs there because I'm sure you guys didn't want to hear a siren. So you go and investigate where the fire is. Then you hit disarm. One, two, three, four. Alarm canceled. Then you hit the star key once. It'll say alarm memory. Then you hit the star key and then you, you press and hold the star key and that resets it. And there you are. All right, guys, that is how to add a heat detector slash rate of rise, any kind, any kind of heat button onto a Concord 4. Um, if I can find a four-wire smoke around here, um, I'll make a video about that. But until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching.